Hey there, my name is Twist. I'm starting out a new channel. I thought my first video would be a small introduction and showing those who probably don't know it, who find my channel, about the room span. It's pretty simple to be honest. You collect item, not items, but like rune essence from the floating essence over here. Simple as that. You grab a handful, grab a few handfuls to be honest. Okay, I already have enough. <laughs> um, and then you just siphon off the air ones. I recommend those first because that's how you can get to the other islands to get more of like water or you can see over there there's fireball. Even the mind rooms because on level 2 you get the body rooms. You can't go and get those until level 2 and you have to be level 33 when crafting for that. Unfortunately, still level 26. But right now, we're, we collect from earth, air, mind, water, fire. Basically, the four elemental runes, types, and mind. See, then you just step on these when you have the air runes, and it will float you across. Sometimes when you're going to an island bigger than the one you're on, it will not charge you. So, say you run out of air runes somehow, and you're not on a island that you can find these little things or a cyclone you could easily go right there but sometimes it won't happen even if you are going to a bigger island so you might be stuck for a little while <laughs> but more often than not see here's a different one here's a water one they don't produce those normally on the plain ones the first island you're on level up this is a good place to go and level up your room crafting if you've been having problems um, you know, just leveling it up, because not everybody's, like, really good at it. It's not really easy for a lot of people. See, I can't cross this one, because it's an earth platform. So I have to collect from these guys. I'm not perfect at explaining things, but it's pretty easily explainable. The guy at start, Wizard Phoenix, I think? Phoenix, or whatever. <laughs> whatever his name is. He can, um actually show you what to do, like a little tutorial, or he could just tell you. I had him show me and it was really simple to be honest, but some people with little boneheads like me have to actually be explained to by more than one person too. I'm not I'm not saying anyone out there is stupid or anything. <laughs> I don't want to be like, what, you call me stupid? <laughs> but it's pretty simple. You collect points and after a while you can get the Wicked Hood which you can already get a free one in Birthrope, but you can get another one from the guy who starts it outside of the room span. And he can sell you that for a certain amount of points. Right now I only have 32 plus 4. And basically, he would take your points. You could buy a whole bunch of esteem, which I don't quite know what that does yet. Or, see, here's a water pool. It's like a cyclone. Um, basically, you could buy all those robes. Apparently they can make you lighter and I think they they bring up the effectiveness of the Wicked Hood. So they're a smart buy but they look pretty expensive in the way of points. One of them I think was like 7.5k points. That would take you a long time and you probably have to be like on the second level to earn points a little faster but I'm not quite sure because I'm still on the bottom floor. <laughs> I'd have to think uh, the rune span's pretty big to be honest. I mean there's a lot of little islands. It can get a little jumbled and a little cramped looking because, as you can tell, I'm on a really tiny island right now. I think I have some air rooms or else I'd be stuck here. But it's pretty simple. You just grab some essence, you start collecting from other things, and boom, you get free experience. You don't get to keep the rooms when you go out because obviously they don't look like normal rooms. So it would make sense. Oh, look, I was not charged. It would make sense that they were not. Um, used in the actual world because otherwise it'd be too easy for people to make their runes here, go back out, and not have to run around all freaking runescape, right? <laughs> they seem to like to make us run around runescape, but basically it'd be like making it too easy for us. So here's basically a quick place to where your inventory is not an issue for the most part as long as you have enough to collect all the runes and stuff because you don't get to keep them on your way out. They get reduced to points. 
although it shows you already up here the amount of points you get, but it says these are reduced to points, although I don't get the equivalent system, but alright. Still, basically, this is just me introducing myself, I'm in a twist. I'm in the Ruins band. I don't know if I was supposed to be trying to be funny or not. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> but basically, this is the Ruins band. You just collect Rune Essence, Runes, all sorts of things, and you get experience. Which is nice, because trying to run back and forth to get Rune experience, even if you already, like, I don't know if you're like me, you could have your older brother go collect cosmic runes for you so you can enchant stuff because you can't create them yet or not. But running back and forth doing that just to get the experience so you can do that is a little bit boring or irritating to some people. Like myself. <laughs> but you basically just collect from these, instant experience, and it takes up like no space. Whereas the rune essence in this one at least is all in one spot compared to the normal Rune Essence, which is everywhere in your pack. So it's like, saves a lot of trouble, to be honest. Although, very quiet. <laughs> no other people here, but this is just me saying hey. Pretty much a little boring video here. Just introducing myself, I guess, in my channel and telling you all about the Rune Spin. Talk to you later. Bye.